When I read Frank Whiteley's new X-Men, I can hear... The Akira is strong with this one. So let's compare. The first thing I noticed is the clothes. So Frank also loves to draw those 80s bomber jackets. And even just the way of shading or hatching the folds of clothes is kind of similar to Katsuhiro Otomo. I do have to say, Quietly has a very unique way of drawing clothes. I think it's stuff like this here, a controlled wavy line. And I just love this texture of the sweater, coat. Is it maybe rubber? It just looks awesome. Of course, then there's the tech, a uh, classic Akira detail in the machines, which Frank can do as well. And the technique is kind of like drawing parts of the plates of the machines. And by the way, uh, Akira influenced the whole Marvel scene with this tech stuff in the late 80s. My favorite thing though that they have in common is the way they draw quiet scenes, like tidy rooms, but then detailing the hell out of a few things or textures. Especially in the action scenes, that contrast really works. And it gives such a big scale to scenery shots as well. Okay, enough talk. Let's draw! I challenge Bruce Lee to become a Frank Quietly character. So of course, going for the bomber jacket. And since I'm using Cyclops as a reference, why not draw his little brother, Alex Havoc? Perfect for giving boots and knee pads. A bunch of detailable goodies. Just finishing up the color, and here we... Right. 
it finished. I gave him that duck mouth all the X-Men have, but somehow the face doesn't really scream Frank quietly. The jacket looks okay, but my favorite part is the pants and boots. I think those are very style accurate. Anyway, what do you guys think? Did I miss anything in the analysis? Any other similarities between the two artists? Also drop a like if you think I succeeded with my drawing and catch you next time.